Hi everyone, today I'm doing a tutorial using my GoPro. The angle is a little bit weird, but I hope you will enjoy my tutorial anyway. Step 1. Define your pose. Trace it and simplify it to capture movement and attitude. Now use an H pencil to draw your croquis using the 9 at proportions, followed by a B pencil to define details such as muscles and the general attitude. When you are happy with the pose itself, trace it again with an H pencil, drawing the garments as well, together with every detail such as face, accessories and so on. It's crucial for you to use an H pencil now, because when you will apply color markers, the H pencil wouldn't smudge. Begin then outlining your figure with a skin color marker. Outline one side of the body first, then when the marker dries, go over again and fill the rest of the body. Color then the garments. Much attention is not needed. Relax and fill the spaces smoothly, following each garment orientation with your marker strokes. You will apply texture later on using color pencils. When rendering black colors, always start with the lighter shade of black to keep shading later on and still get that three-dimensional effect because of the lighter areas you will eventually keep. Velvet is a very smooth material. It absorbs and reflects light at the same time and it has a real soft texture. That's why you will go over the skirt with the side of a black color pencil to create a realistic fabric. Define shadows first, then go over smoothly. Don't forget to use a white color pencil to recover some highlights. Go on and define details using some well sharpened colored pencils to let every shade pop. When done, it's time for fine liners 005 for tiny details such as face features, and 01, 02, or even 03 for the rest of your illustration. Recover highlights by using a white gel pen and keep going with different color pencils to properly shade each part of your drawing. That's all for today, I'm sorry for the very weird angle, I just wanted to try my GoPro on tutorials. Do you think I should keep it or go back to the regular little camera? Let me know in your comments, bye!